Hello guys, oh, welcome back to our channel. Thanks for joining me today. Let's deep dive into the world of data analysis with Power BI. Before that, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss any updates. So today I'm going to explain you that how to handle the incorrect total measures. So, so many times even I have faced incorrect total measures like I have a like a less than third incorrect total measure what it means means for accessories I have 10 maximum quantity for bike I have five for clothing I have five and for component I have five. So it's, it's around way do a 25 but I'll get maybe 15 10 as a total. So that we used to call as a incorrect total measure. So we'll see how to handle handle that incorrect total measures and how do we need, how do we need to write the measures for that and what is the reason behind that to get the incorrect total. So, so now I want to uh, before that uh, we see the data for uh, data model first. So I have three tables bike data. So this bike data is completely um, related to sales of the bike. So we have done the sales in uh, different countries yeah, for different models. So we, we have different models of bike date bike. So we have sold in different countries, different region with so many quantities with a different price in different dates. So this, that details it contains by data. So date master, as you know, is a dim dimension table of the date. So and another one is country flag. So let's go to more data view. So as I said, it contains the complete details of the bikes. So then go to visuals here. I want to see the maximum, maximum order quantity. So how to write a measure for maximum order quantity? So let's go to new measure, write a max quantity per year. I want to see for all the years. So equals max. So take a max function. So order quantity. So this is the order quantity I have to take. So let's enter it. So I got the maximum and order quantity here wise. So let's add this measure to the column. So now we are able to see the maximum quantity per year. If you see here for 2023 for accessories, we have 11 maximum quantity for bike 13, for clothing 23, components 8. Similarly, for 2022, accessory have a maximum quantity of 20, bikes 26, clothing 41, components 41, 14. Likewise for 21, for 2020. So we, the measure is calculated for accessories just measure is looking at only for accessories maximum quantity is 11 but it's not looking for grand total if you see the grand total grand total should be around 23 11 and 13 it should be around 55 so but we are getting incorrect grand total why we are getting the incorrect grand total what is the reason behind that? What is this 23? We'll see what is that 23 first. From where this 23 getting total 23. So this filter contest is works on the total data what we have in the bike data. It's not looking at the measure. It's looking at the looking at the whole data. If you see here for 2023, we could see the maximum. If you do the descending order in the order quantity, we could see 23 is the maximum order quantity for clothing. If you see the whole data, first we see if we remove the filter here for whole 2023, we have a maximum order quantity is 23. So, so this filter contest is working on whole data. So that's why we are getting. 23 years. Let's check for one more year. Let's go to 2020. What is the maximum quantity we'll see? If we see 2020, then the maximum quantity is 35. We'll check in the visual also. So 2023, the 35 is the maximum quantity. So whatever the maximum quantity whole data, that one is taking as a total. So, so data is, a, uh, this measure, measure is not filtering the data. At the level of measure, Row level, uh, the uh, filter contest is not work. So, Power BI, what will happen? The row contest is working for whole data, but it's not working for visual when you're writing DAX. That is the reason we are getting incorrect total. So, how to fix this incorrect low total? What is the um, DAX for that? We'll try to write the DAX. Okay. New measure. Write a new measure. I want to say something else. If somebody sees our stakeholder, if you see this data, no, if you publish this data to the stakeholder, definitely you will get 
will get fired because of his incorrect total if you see this incorrect total total no so it's kind of a disaster definitely they will fire us so to avoid that before uh, to avoid that kind of um, situations we have to check the total too even i faced the same issues in my previous companies so let's go to measure now we'll write a measure maximum quantity year wise here so here we have we have to use a function called summarize along with the summix how to write that formula to avoid this incorrect summarize you summarize which table we have to use bike data is the main table and i want year also so if i want year means which uh, one more table we want i want one more table date master in the date master i want year okay okay and also i want segment business like so take a business segment here then so these are the summarize columns you want and i want to add one more function called summix before adding summix i'll add max quantity comma max quantity let's name it first quantity what is this measure name we'll take a sum x here first sum x so after sum x we need to write let's close this uh, summarize function let's write a measure called max quantity per year so then close it so summarize it, it you know how sum x will work sum x sum x will be row level iterate function so it works for row contest so it will look for each and everything then it will summarize the data so this measure will gives the correct totals we'll see it will gives or not does this measures works or not so drag that maximum quantity per here here okay so the dax is working let's check the count here 11 plus 13 24 23 47 plus 8 55 so far so this is working so you have to use this kind of functions to avoid the incorrect total measures so guys i hope you understand this video